Hey there, truck enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest insights and reviews on everything automotive. Today we have an interesting topic that's sure to grab your attention. We're diving into the world of pickup trucks, but with a twist. In this video, we'll be exploring the 10 worst pickup trucks you can buy in 2023. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Before we get started, let me clarify that this list is based on a combination of factors, including performance, reliability, features, and customer feedback. We understand that opinions may vary, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in and take a look at these trucks that missed the mark in 2023. The Chevrolet Colorado has received criticism for several reasons. One common complaint is its underwhelming powertrain options. The base engine lacks the power and performance found in its competitors, leaving drivers wanting more. Additionally, the towing capacity of Colorado is lower compared to other trucks in its class, limiting its capabilities for hauling heavy loads. Some also find the interior to be less refined and lacking in modern features compared to its rivals. The Nissan Frontier has faced criticism primarily for its outdated design. Both the exterior styling and interior have remained largely unchanged for years, making it feel behind the times. The technology and safety features offered in the Frontier also lag behind those of its competitors, giving it a less appealing overall package. Additionally, its fuel efficiency falls short of newer models, which can be a concern for budget-conscious buyers. The Ram 1500 Classic, as the name suggests, is essentially an older version of the Ram 1500. While it still offers a capable and reliable truck platform, it lacks some of the modern features and refinements found in the newer Ram 1500 models. This includes updated technology, safety features, and a more efficient powertrain. As a result, buyers may find that the Ram 1500 Classic doesn't offer the same level of comfort and innovation as its newer counterparts. The Toyota Tacoma has received criticism for its ride quality and overall comfort. Some find the Tacoma to be less smooth and refined compared to other trucks in its class, particularly on rougher roads or during long drives. Additionally, Tacoma's interior design and technology features have been considered less advanced and intuitive compared to newer models. The fuel efficiency of Tacoma is also lower than some competitors, which can be a factor for those looking for a more economical option. The GMC Canyon has been subject to criticism for its lackluster interior quality and limited cargo space. While it offers a solid and capable truck platform, the materials used in the cabin have been found to be less premium compared to rivals. The Canyon also falls short when it comes to cargo capacity, particularly in the bed area, making it less versatile for hauling larger items. Additionally, some have mentioned that the Canyon's ride can feel stiffer and less comfortable compared to its competitors. The Ford Ranger has faced criticism for its underwhelming powertrain and limited towing capacity. While it offers a comfortable and well-built interior, some find the engine options to be less powerful compared to rival trucks. This can impact acceleration and overall performance, especially when carrying heavy loads or towing trailers. The Ranger's towing capacity is also lower compared to some competitors, which may be a drawback for those in need of greater hauling capabilities. The Chevrolet Silverado 1500 has been criticized for its lack of interior refinement and outdated technology features. While it offers a range of powerful engine options and solid towing capabilities, some have found the cabin materials and design to be less luxurious compared to rival trucks. Additionally, the technology features, such as infotainment and driver assistance systems, have been considered less advanced and user-friendly. This can make the overall driving experience feel less modern and more convenient. The Nissan Titan has received criticism primarily for its fuel efficiency and outdated design. The Titan's fuel economy falls short compared to more efficient trucks in its class, which can be a concern for those looking for better mileage. Additionally, the Titan's design and styling have remained largely unchanged for years, making it feel less fresh and exciting compared to its competitors. Some also find that the Titan's interior lacks the refinement and modern features found in other trucks. The Honda Ridgeline has faced criticism for its limited towing capacity and less rugged design. While the Ridgeline offers a comfortable and well-appointed interior, it falls short in terms of towing capabilities compared to other trucks in its class. 
This can be a drawback for those in need of a truck for hauling heavy loads. Additionally, the Ridgeline's design is more crossover-like than traditional truck-like, which may not appeal to buyers seeking a more rugged and traditional pickup truck experience. The Toyota Tundra has received criticism primarily for its outdated design and limited interior features. The Tundra's exterior styling has remained largely unchanged for years, making it feel less modern and fresh compared to its competitors. Inside the cabin, some have found the technology features and overall design to be less advanced and user-friendly. The Tundra also falls short in terms of fuel efficiency, compared to newer trucks on the market, which can be a factor for those prioritizing better gas mileage. A pickup truck might be considered one of the worst you can buy for several reasons. A truck with frequent mechanical problems, breakdowns, or recalls can be frustrating and costly to own. Reliability issues can lead to unexpected repairs, downtime, and reduced overall satisfaction with the vehicle. Pickup trucks are generally known for their lower fuel efficiency compared to smaller vehicles. However, some models have particularly poor fuel economy, which can result in higher fuel costs and a negative environmental impact. Trucks with subpar build quality may have issues such as excessive rust, poor paint quality, or cheap materials in the interior. These factors can negatively impact the longevity and overall durability of the vehicle. Some trucks may have high maintenance and repair costs, and expensive spare parts, or depreciate rapidly, making them less financially viable options for buyers. In today's automotive industry, safety features are a crucial consideration. Trucks with outdated safety technology, fewer airbags, or a lack of advanced driver assistance systems may be considered less safe compared to their competitors. In conclusion, the 10 worst pickup trucks you can buy in 2023 have various shortcomings that make them less desirable compared to their competitors. These trucks often struggle in areas such as outdated designs, lack of modern features, lower towing capacities, and less refined interiors. It's important to consider these factors when looking for a pickup truck that suits your needs. As a reminder, purchasing a pickup truck is a significant investment, so it's crucial to thoroughly research and test drive any vehicle before making a decision. Take into account your specific requirements, such as towing capacity, fuel efficiency, interior comfort, and technology features. Don't hesitate to seek the advice of automotive experts and read reviews from trusted sources to ensure you make an informed choice. Remember, the truck that may be the worst for one person might still meet the needs of another, so personal preferences and priorities should guide your decision-making process. By carefully considering your requirements and conducting thorough research, you can find a pickup truck that best aligns with your needs and offers a satisfying ownership experience.